America's down to its last 100 or so cotton mills. Here's how we got here. Once key to the plantation economy of the Deep South, the demand for cotton from U.S. manufacturers is on an unrelenting and accelerating decline. It's mostly due to decades of competition from cheaper overseas production and the broader use of synthetic materials like polyester. To be sure, domestic cotton demand will never go completely away. In addition to consumers who seek out American-made goods, the Department of Defense, for example, requires the purchase of some U.S.-made items from clothing to tents. Some argue losing manufacturing jobs to overseas can usher in a new age of higher-income jobs, but other former textile towns distanced from interstate highways or larger cities are still struggling to bring in new employers or developers. U.S. farmers are able to rely on a vibrant export market for now. More than three-fourths of U.S. cotton supply this year will be exported, the highest share on record. 